Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jack, this is JTH Books, and it's time for a massive book haul. Let's, it's massive, let's be honest. So, I have not done a book haul in a while. I think it's been a few months because um, for a while there, I was trying not to buy books. That hasn't lasted. It hasn't lasted at all, at all, just to clarify. I can see the big pile here. It's like the same height as me. And, um, but I think this might be my biggest one yet. I think it probably is, which I don't think is great, but it's, it is what it is. It is what it is, you know? Sometimes I try not to buy books. Sometimes I get a little bit sad and buy books. I've finally been to a bookstore this year, which, you know, you, some of these you will have seen, okay? There's a few here you will have seen because I vlogged them. So I'll link the vlogs to the comic book shop maybe down below. And what vlog did I do where I went to London? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my Wheat Green vlog. I'll link that down below too. And, um... Yeah, I think we should just crack on because there's so, so many books here. I'm going to start with the ones I was kindly sent first by publishers and then I got sent some for my birthday from, you know, friends. So, um, yeah, let, let's just talk about the books. Let's talk about the books because I feel like I could be here for a while. I'll edit it down so it's short for you all, but I think I'm going to be here a while. I really, I know, I think I say I move in, but I literally live in this house. What a weird thing to say. Jack, stop waffling. Books. So first up, I was kindly sent a finished copy of Cinema Love by Jamming Tang, one of my favourite books of the year. I read the proof. This one is out now. I am I'm just so happy. I'm so happy to have a finished copy. I love this book so so much. Then I was very kindly sent by Book Break UK. I'll link Book Break their channel down below. Um a, a book I'm very, 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 very excited about. And it is Small Rains by Garth Greenwell. One of my favourite authors, it has to be said. I'm so, so excited for this. I don't know too much about it. I know it's about a man who becomes ill and then has to spend time in hospital and he looks back over his life. That's all I really want to know. I just want to be swept away by this novel. One of my favourite authors. So I'm excited. I am excited for this one. Next up, I was very kindly sent by YA Osborne Books for Ids and a Funeral by um, Frida Abiket Media and Ajib uh, Jagidara. Now, this is a... Young adult novel, it's by two authors, it's dual POV. I believe it's, you know, it's a little bit of a hate to love situation. This comes out, well, by the time you see this, it will be out. It comes out on the 6th of June. So if you're looking for this, it's out now. Then again, by Brook Break, I was kindly sent Long Island by Colm Tolbert. Now, this is a follow up to Brooklyn. I believe it's set 20 years later after Brooklyn finishes. I love Brooklyn, the book. I love the film as well. I love Sir Sheridan, what can I say? So I'm very, very excited to get to this one. Next up, I was sent um, Thunderhead by Miranda Darling. This was sent to me by Scribe Books. It's out now. And in this is the story of a woman who wakes up to a normal day. She's a young mother. And by the end of the day, everything has changed. And there is a storm brewing. I'm so, so excited to read this. I've heard brilliant, brilliant things about it. So I'm ready for this one. Next up, from Faber Books, I was kindly sent a proof copy of Andrew Eckerman's The Gentleman from Peru. Now, this is the story of about a group of people who are... Is it the Amalfi Coast? I think it is because I've got a little postcard of it up there. Yeah, the Amalfi Coast, they're sort of marooned. Their boat has to be fixed. They're marooned. And they invite this sort of older gentleman to join them for dinner. And by the end of the dinner, everything has changed. I'm, I'm very intrigued by this one. I've heard people say it's really beautiful. So I'm excited for this one. And I do know, I keep saying excited for this, but I am excited for them all. I actually genuinely am. Next up, I was kindly sent by Serpent Tail. Um, Notice by Heather Lewis. Now... This is the Serpent Sale Classic Edition. I'm sort of collecting these. I've got three up there. You're going to see another one that I brought. And um, yeah, I'm I'm really, really excited for this one. I'm excited. I'm excited to complete my collection. I'm not going to lie. I really like collecting these. Then from Harper Books, I was very kindly sent Dancing on My Own, Essays on Art, Collectivity and Joy by Simon Wu. Now, this is just what it says on the cover. It is a collection of essays about art and joy and queerness and his life and his story. And I'm very, very excited for this one. It comes out on the 24th of June. So very, very thank you very much for sending me this. Then I was kind of, <clears throat> then I was very kindly sent by Hutchinson Hyman in Universes by Emmett North. Now this is the story of a woman who spends her days collecting stars, removing stars from pictures of the night sky, dreaming about parallel universes. And then she is falling in love with a woman who she almost met, if only she said hello, but maybe in another parallel universe. She did. I'm so excited for this one. I think it's a five-star prediction. It's a five-star prediction. 
Next up, I was very kindly sent by Fall for State Books, The Unwilding by Marina Kemp. Now, Marina Kemp wrote a book called The Nightingale, which I read before I started all this YouTube stuff, but I really love that book. I really love that book. I even got the chance to sort of interview her for a blog I used to have. It doesn't exist anymore. And um, I'm very, very excited for this one. I, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. I have very high expectations for this. And this is the story of a writer who goes to spend time with a family in Italy. I thought these are set in Italy. I feel like I maybe you should go to Italy. I'm not going. I don't know why I said that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's a story of a, a fledgling writer who goes to spend some time with this very famous writer in Italy and his family and it follows all their lives after that. I'm so, I have such high expectations for this one. I really, really do. It comes out on the 4th of July and I'm excited. Next up by Picador Books, I was kindly sent them by Harry Josephine Giles, which is a collection of poems about trans life as it is lived today. I, this was a surprise. I didn't know it was coming, but I'm very, very excited to read this because I'm trying to get into more poetry. I'm, I'm, Trying to live my poetry era. It's so much 2024 is my poetry era. It's not. It's not. But if I say it, it might come true. <laughs> then I was very kindly sent Private Rights by Julia Armfield from Fourth Estate Books. This one comes out on the 11th of June. It will be out now. One of my highly anticipated books of the year. And you really see it in my wrapper. I loved it. Next up, by Serpent's Tail, I was kindly sent Tongueless by Lao Yi Wa, translated by Jennifer Feely. I've heard brilliant, brilliant things about this. This is the first time it's been translated into English, so I'm very, very excited for this one. I was also sent a proof copy of Teddy by Emily Dunlay. This is set in Rome in the 1960s, and this one also comes out on the 4th of July. And lastly, by Pick Other Books, I was sent The Pairing by Casey McQuiston, the author of One Last Stop, Red, White, More Blue. They have a new book coming out. And this is about two bisexual exes, Theo and Kate, accidentally book the same European food and wine tour and challenge each other to a hookup competition to prove they're over each other. I was going to say that sounds really good until the hookup bit, but I could go on a European wine and food tour. <laughs> let's stop there, but let's, oh, let's go. You want to go? Let's go. That is all the books I've very kindly been sent from publishers over the last few months. I'm very, very lucky. I'm very excited to read them. Let's hope I get around to some of them. And um, now I'm quickly going to talk about the books I was sent for my birthday by some lovely viewers, some people from my Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's all down below. And um, yeah, I'm so thankful. So let's talk about them. First up, from my dear friend, Miff Ann Way. Uh, I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. She sent me... Volumes three and four of Fence, the graphic novel. I've nearly, I've nearly got the whole collection now, so you know that means I can nearly start to read them because, because of my family. I'm so grateful to you. She bought me number two as well, so she's a real one. I really appreciate me then. You know that. I thanked you in person. Well, not in person, on Instagram. But I thank you again because you deserve it, my friend. I was also very kindly sent from my birthday from my friend uh, Big Swiss by Jen Began. Began? Um, very, I've heard brilliant things about this one. It's actually in the... Um, jar because I didn't somebody put it in there but I didn't own it but now I own it so if it comes out I can I can read it now and again from Instagram I was very kindly sent the manga um, Anti-Romance Volume 1 very excited for this one Anti-Romance I'm ready I'm ready I feel like it's going to break my heart I feel like it's going to break my heart and I'm ready for that I am ready for that so now we're going to get to the biggest pile the books that I have brought myself like I said I finally went to a bookstore I got a little bit sad for a while so I bought some books. I treated myself to some books. And um, yeah, let's, let's, let's just go through it. Because the pile is massive. Like I said, it's like, it's my height. It's my height. Some of them are still in, even in the bags. I feel like I can finally put these away now. I've been saving them to do this haul. So that's the rest of my day is actually trying to find somewhere to put these. Normally when I say do an unhaul, I know do a haul, an unhaul is coming. But I don't really have any I want to get rid of. So I don't think an unhaul is coming just yet i mean it probably won't be far off let's be honest but not not right now i'm just want to bask in all my books so these first five you have seen these they were in the um where i read the book that you voted for for the month of may i will link that down below please go watch it because no one really has and um we have sluts by michelle t then we have the diaries of mr lucas notes from a gay life i just hit the bag did you hear that <laughs> uh the joy luck club by amy tan as by philip b williams and The Fellowship of Puzzle Makers by Samuel Burr. Now I'll quickly go through the ones that you have seen again from the Khan Bookshop with me. I'll link it down below, but we'll quickly whiz through these. And then you can see the ones I bought when I was sad. We have Permafrost by Eva Baltasar, translated by Julia Sanchez. I can't tell you how desperate I am to read this one. It's not going to be long. Then we have Guapa by Salim Haddad. Then we have Some Strange Music Draws Me In by Griffin Hansbury. 
Then we have The Maniac by Benjamin Latut. Then we have Minor Detail by Adana Shibley, translated by Elizabeth Jacquet. Then we have The Foghorn Echoes by Danny Ramadan. Then we have Salamic by Khalid Alismao and Clear by Karis Davis. Then I brought the third and final installment in the Realm Breaker series by Victoria Abrard. Fate Breakout, this is the Fairy Loot edition just to match my other two. It's signed. I, I just had to get it because I couldn't have the collection for you. Let's actually read them now. Then I brought the next three in the new sort of editions that they brought out of the Bone series by Samantha Shannon. So we have the Mime Order, the Song Rising and the Mask Falling. These are all signed, beautiful editions. They match the other one I've got. Very, very excited to carry on with this series. Then I brought The Emperor and the Endless Palace by Justin Ian Hoang. One of my anticipated reads of the year, so I'm very excited to own this one. It was quite hard to get in the UK. It cost me quite a bit of money, but it's fine. It's fine. Then we have Marta, which I think you might have seen before, right? I think I might have brought this. You might have already seen this, so my piles were wrong. I'm sorry, I got my piles wrong. <laughs> Then I brought The World and All That It Holds by Alexander Hemon. I brought a signed copy. The payback came out, but they had a signed copy hardcover left. So I thought, why not? Treat yourself. And I brought The Breakup List by Adib Karam. Huge Adib Karam fan here. So obviously, obviously I was going to buy this. And it was on my most anticipated books of the year. So if I don't want to get that read, I need to have them, don't I? And I brought another a signed copy of The Night Alphabet by Joel Taylor. Joel Taylor won the um, oh, Polari Prize. Maybe not last year, the year before, for their poetry collection. They released a novel, so I wanted to try it. And I brought Pick Up Your Feelings by Christopher Lloyd. This is a poetry collection. I told you, summer 2024. It's my poetry year. Um, this is by Christopher Lloyd. He's a friend of mine. I brought a signed copy. I'm so excited to read this. I've heard beautiful things about his poetry. So, And he's a very nice person. So, you know, let's let's go. Then I brought myself Under the Ugilities by Chinola Okaprata. Now, this is a book I'm very, very excited for. Very excited for. I it's a queer Nigerian book. I think there's some brilliant queer Nigerian novels, so I'm excited to add this one to the list. Then we have Close Up by Dennis Cooper. I think you might have seen this one before somewhere if you've watched my videos. Um, another Serpent Sale Classics one that I brought. I have to. I have to. I have to have the collection. I said. I mean it. I do mean this. <laughs> and then because I love Brian Washington so much, my friend was selling their hardback of his short story collection a lot, so I had to have it. I had to have it. Now I own the morning hardback, and I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy. And also because I love Garth Greenwell, I had to have um, What Belongs to You in hardback too, in their own pin back. But this was like £3, so second hand. I can't, I had to have it. I had to. I'm the type of person that if I love an author, I had to have all their books in hardback. I, I wish I wasn't, but I am like that. I also bought A Woman of Pleasure by Kyoto Murata. Now this is from Footnote Press. I loved Mongol by Footnote Press. So I want to give this one a shot and support them. And I'm excited to read this one. And then these next four, I actually got for free off my book exchange at work. I normally put the books on there, but this time I took some off. I had to. I couldn't help it. We have um, If We Were Villains by M. El Rio. Hugely popular booktube book, but I didn't ever want to buy it, but it was free, so I took it. Then we have How Beautiful We Were. This one just sounds, it just sounded brilliant, so I had to pick it up. Then we have You Exist Too Much by Zainia Arafat. This is a queer Palestinian novel. I had to pick it up. I, I've so many bought it so many times and I saw it there and I thought, I'll oh, just go for it. And then we have Sandy Toxigs Between the Stops, a most wonderful memoir. I just love Sandy Toxigs, so I, I can't help it. I can't help it. Now these next four, they only came in recently because like I said, I, I was super sad. So I bought some books. And we have um, An Orphan World by Giuseppe Caputo, translated by Joanna Adok and Sophie Hughes. Glasgow Boys by Margaret MacDonald. Small Joys by Elvin James Mensa. Signed. This is signed. And I bought this non-fiction book, which was for £30. But I had a voucher. I didn't actually... These last four were a voucher, so I didn't actually spend the money. But this was Some Men in London, Volume 1, Queer Life, 1945 to 1956, edited by Peter Parker. I mean, it better be worth £30. But it's sort of diary entries and news clipping, so I'm very excited for it. While we're filming, I had some more books delivered. These were very kindly sent to me. We have Evening and Weekends by Oshin McKenna. This is a finished copy sent to me by Fourth Estate Books. I loved this book. It's out now. And I also got this very exciting package. Are you ready to join the pack? Shall we open it together? No, let's not because I can't. Ah, oh, something fell. Oh, I got Wolf Runes, temporary tattoos. I got a mask. Can you see me? I got a mask. And this is Board Gay Werewolf by Tony Santarella. Oh, what amazing box. And they're sweet. They're sweet. Oh, I love sweets. What are they? Cookie dough bites. That was better than I could ever have imagined. Ever have imagined. This one, very kindly sent to me by Atlantic Books, Board Gay Werewolf. It comes out in paperback in June. 
Oh, look, I've got these green things over here now. So, there we have it. So many books. Shall I quickly have a count and see how many it was? Let me quickly have a count. Friends, that was 54 books. 54 books, yeah, I think that's definitely my biggest haul so far. Unnecessary, you could say, but that's life. I needed them. <laughs> Listen, if you want me to read any of these, put them in the TBR jar, please. If if you like the sound of any of them, if you want to go do a little bit of research on them and think if I'd like them, or if you, whether you want like them, we we'll to see if we have the same tastes. Um, please feel free to put them in the jar. You know, it's my biggest fear in life is that jar running out. And I, nothing. How embarrassing. Um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, comment down below if you want any of them in the jar. Let me know what your biggest haul has been. When was your last book haul? Just have a chat to me. You know it's my favourite thing. And I'm going to speak to you all really, really soon.